So for the last 48 hours, Allie and I have been staying at arguably some of the swankiest hotel accommodations of our entire lives. We're staying in a room that goes for over $1,000 a night and we didn't pay a dime. We made it after a hectic, unexpected travel day. Wow. We made it to our next destination. Yes, we are going to be enjoying the next 48 hours or so at Felicia Resort and Spa, Porto Piccolo, which is right outside of Trieste, Italy. This is part of Marriott Bonvoy's luxury collection and wow. My luxury friends. is the right word. Luxury is the right word. We're here for the next two nights. We paid for it completely in points, and they upgraded us to the executive suite. And Nick's going to tell you all about how he made that happen. Right now, we're enjoying a little aperitivo before we have dinner at the pizzeria, which isn't serving pizza. <laughs> but one of my favorite things about Italy is all of the snacks that they bring with your Amen. cocktails. Amen. Yep. Yeah. It's going to be a great couple of days, friends. Mm -hmm. Part of our experience here at Alicia, we get access to the spa. We've been having an awesome time at Felicia Resort and Spa. Uh, we got up this morning. We had a delicious breakfast. We went to the spa. So good. Oh man, that was great. And now we freshened up and uh, we're about to hop in the car and head to Trieste. See you there. We made it to Trieste. We're parked illegally right now while we try to download the app to park. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, we thought we would live while we're alive and take a walk. We just saw Teatro Romano and now we're headed to what is supposedly one of the largest piazzas in all of Italy. I mean, it's huge. It's huge. So one of the things we failed to mention was Trieste, why we're here, and actually where it is. So if you look on a map, Trieste is a tiny sliver. Sl it's a tiny sliver of Italy, um, right next to Croatia and Slovenia. And we've been to Italy together a couple times. Yeah. I guess I never really pictured Italy on the other side of the Adriatic. Feels like. Italian Vienna. It's yeah. kind of like you use the right word. It's kind of gritty. It's a little gritty. Like we're walking along the uh, Canale Grande right now, which is where uh, the merchant ships used to bring things in to be sold in the shops, and like it, it's pretty dirty. Um, whole area, yeah, it has kind of a grittier, kind of real city vibe. Yeah. But it definitely still has like the cafe culture that we know in mm -hmm. Italy, and as you've mentioned, it's in Vienna. So I mean, it's it's. 
and beautiful buildings. Yeah. Yeah. It's familiar, but it feels different than For Italy sure. that we know. It's a very cool like cross section of cultures. Yeah. Cute little shops. I know we're in Italy, but I saw a big old bratwurst, so. Oh, shit! <laughs> After you, my love. Oh, we should have Lady in the Tram. <laughs> it's a worst. That was okay. It was foreshadowing. It's a teaser of what's to come. Was it at least cheap? Excuse me? Was it at least cheap? It was six euro. It's not bad. All right, hopefully our car hasn't been towed. Thank God, it's still here. We don't have a boot. We got snacks. Nor a ticket. We have some snacks. Let's hit the road. One of our favorite things about staying here has been the breakfast. Dude, it's a legit breakfast. It's like, it's real good. Prosciutto here might be the best prosciutto I have ever had in my life. <laughs> mm -hmm. Wow. Figured we could give you guys a little bit of a room tour. So this is our beautiful executive suite. This is the living room. This is about as big of a room as any standard hotel room that we stay in. A TV, we didn't really figure out how to work, but it's been a nice <laughs> little workspace for us over the last couple of days. Um, we'll take you on the patio last, but then you walk in to the most beautiful master bedroom. <laughs> uh, the bed is so comfortable and the best part of this whole entire room in my opinion this bad boy <whistles> yeah i'm a bath girl so i've been really missing baths so i've taken like two baths while we've been here um we also have a beautiful view out of the bedroom and then a really fascinating part of this room that I've kind of struggled with at nighttime is this fake door to the bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> so we've got a full wall of mirrors, but apparently you're supposed to, I'm gonna do this wrong again too. And this leads so this, to- Yeah, the door is a mirror, <laughs> kind of deceiving. I walked into it like three times, um, but then you bleed into this room that has more storage, but then goes to our beautiful bathroom with a nice little walk-in shower, good water pressure, which is important. It's very important to me. Standard bathroom. I mean, it's great. Americans, we have a bidet. This is still don't know how to use that. Still not very positive on it. Haven't tried. And more beautiful mirrors. Nice. But wait, but there's wait, more. There's These big, beautiful doors that open up to arguably the most beautiful view. So we're right in the center of the village. Look at this. Big sailboats to look at. Dog watching. <laughs> I've just been sitting out here like every morning for a couple of minutes just to like enjoy how like beautiful, quiet, serene this whole place is. 
absolutely gorgeous. And that concludes our tour of the executive suite here at Felicia Resort and Spa and the end of our time here in Porto Piccolo, Italy. I know, so sad. But it's time to move on to our next destination, which is a surprise for me, so I don't really know how to tell you guys where we're headed. She has no idea. No clue. <laughs> So when I first sat down to start planning this trip, after Allie and I had committed to doing this big wild thing, and I really sat down and started planning. I, I did some research and I just stumbled across this place online and was blown away by the images I saw. And I knew, man, I wanna stay there. But with our budget, there was no way we were gonna be able to afford to pay cash to do this. Um, but in preparation for our trip, Allie and I built up over 1.7 million points and miles toward travel, a number of which were Marriott Bonvoy points. So from the moment I found this place, I made it my life's mission to not only stay here, but stay here in style for free. And here's how I did it. So number one, points. Allie and I built up a lot of Marriott Bonvoy points. And one of the ways we did that was through credit card sign-up bonuses. Uh, we signed up for the Marriott Bonvoy Boundless credit card, which was offering a 100,000 point sign-up bonus at the time. And now we're sitting at about 330,000 Marriott points through the sign-up bonus, purchases on the card, and then stays over time. Number two, status. Marriott has been our personal go-to hotel chain for years now, which means We've stayed here a lot. Because we've stayed here a lot, that means we've been able to build up status. Um, at the time of making this video, I have Platinum Elite status with Marriott, and I believe, hopefully, I will hit Titanium Elite this year, which would be a first for me. Um, the card I mentioned earlier, and a number of Marriott's cards, actually come with what they call Elite Night Credits, which you earn status through uh, staying a certain number of nights. That helps you get there. Well, when you sign up for the card, each year they give you 15 elite night credits um, towards that status. So uh, it's, it's kind of like telling Marriott, you've stayed here 15 times, even if you had it. Okay, now that we've established that stuff, here's how I booked and what kind of redemption value we got. What's important to know when you're doing this is kind of how much you should be getting from your points to be maximizing the value. So based on kind of the current valuations of Marriott points, you should expect to get at least 0.7 cents per point when you're booking. If you're getting less than that, it would be in your best interest to pay cash. The standard retail rate for the room that I booked was 281 euro per night. Um, I was able to get it for two nights for 80,000 points total, which gave us a rate of about 0.81 cents per Marriott point. So that's a great redemption value, and um, I took the deal. So we got a great redemption value. Already, I'm feeling good, but it gets much better. Um, I requested an upgrade using Marriott's Sweet Night Awards to hopefully be upgraded from a regular room to a suite. And then I followed a tip that I picked up from the points guy and I actually emailed the hotel manager. Yes, like I opened an actual email and typed an email to a person. And I basically just reached out saying, hey, I spotted this place online. My wife and I have wanted to stay here forever. Um, it would mean the world to me if you could do something to make this stay special. I made the request and then I also sent that email. And a few days before coming here, I was really bummed to see that my sweet night request had been rejected. But when I get here, they let me know that they have made the executive suite available, like they've unlocked the room and they weren't planning on using it apparently. For us, comparable suites here go between a thousand and fifteen hundred bucks a night. So on the low end, our stay would have cost two thousand dollars and on the high end, it would have cost three thousand dollars. And so if you consider my original eighty thousand point uh, payment, 
that takes us from a redemption value of 0.81 to more like 2.5 or even up to 3.75, which is just a crazy redemption value. If you're interested in learning more about points and miles, I'm going to put a link down below uh, where you can check out some of my articles and tips about this at awaytogether.com. And I'll also put a link to the Marriott Bonvoy Boundless credit card. Uh, they're running great sign-up bonuses all the time. It's an easy way to, hey, we're going to sign up for a card. There's a minimum spend you have to do within the first few months, but they're usually very achievable. You just pay your bills basically on that that card for that period of time until you hit that minimum requirement. Don't spend more than you need to. Just, just spend to hit the, the minimum. Um, and then you get this slew of points. You get the Elite Night credits. I talked about and it should enable you to do something crazy just like we did here. Thanks for watching.